Hello everyone, Derek here with Get Lost Trails. Welcome back to the channel. Today we are north of Mancos on County Road 42, which is getting ready to turn into Forest Service 561 once we enter the San Juan National Forest. Gonna go up here and check out a trail called the Aspen Loop Trail. Now, I don't know that we're gonna ride all of it, but we're gonna ride some of it. We're gonna head up, find a place to camp tonight, go out tomorrow, hike up to Shark's Tooth Pass, and then continue riding. Be a little two day adventure for me. Get away from work for a little while, come out here and enjoy some of the beautiful scenery. I think this area is a little underrated probably. There's a lot of trails up in here, actual two track trails and even some single track trails and a network of forest service roads that you're pretty well allowed to ride unlicensed ATVs and stuff on. Now I have a licensed motorcycle, so it doesn't really matter anyway, but there's some riding opportunities up in here. Definitely worth checking out. I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for joining me. Let's pull in here and see what this West Mancos Overlook is. Standing in front of us is Hesperus Mountain. It also has a traditional Navajo name, which I won't try to pronounce. It stands at 13,237 feet or 4,035 meters. It is possible to hike up to the summit of that. It's actually not too long of a hike, a little over four miles, a little under seven kilometers. This sort of turned into not a driving path. That's all right. We got a bike, we can maneuver. Heading up here past Transfer Campground. Gonna go check out what is called the Aspen Loop OHV Trail. I have no idea what I'm getting into to be quite honest with you. I've done really no research on this and so this could be highly technical for all I know. The trail here, Aspen Loop Trail number 631. Close the vehicles over 50 inches wide. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's not land in the trees. We're trying to land in the trees. Well guys, it's going all right so far. Uh, definitely more challenging than what I, it's definitely more challenging than what I normally ride. But how do you ever improve if you don't practice and test your skills a little? Oop. Oh man, this is gonna be interesting. What are we up to here? Another intersection, but Aspen Loop Trail. They go straight. I don't know where that other road comes from. I think we just took the hard route, probably. Oh, that's 
sand. <laughs> Don't sit down. Oop. Oh, f Oh, God. This is not great. I wasn't prepared for this, nor am I probably hardly good enough to ride this. Steep uphill, loose, crap, like baby heads. And of course it wants to deflect you and, you want, and it wants to lose traction and wants to stall. And So I've took the luggage off. Let's see how this goes. Uh, not good. Currently regretting life choices. Well guys, this is kind of embarrassing because I should be able to get through this, but I'm just not that good. A decent rider would have kept momentum into this of course I came right around I came right around a corner and into it and wasn't anticipating it and wasn't mentally committed either at that point I made it part the way up but I think through the worst of it I'm hoping I can get taken off here I got my bags reattached and hopefully we can get through this and hopefully it doesn't continue to be this technical well it looks like I'm coming up to a road here I'm not sure what this is but I guess it would be a bailout point if you needed one Aspen Loop continues on up the road a little ways and I'm assuming juts back off, I don't know. I'm ready for a little easy riding after working my way up that hill of baby heads. Oh my god, that took me forever. I had I probably should have just went back to the bottom and started over. We jumped off the road there pretty quick on another trail. Now this one is open to wider track vehicles, not limited to the 54 inch size that first portion of that trail was on forest road 346 now coming up to twin lakes certainly a very beautiful area very small little lakes <laughs> but very pretty set up getting ready to fix up here it looks like my water has come to a boil as we wait on our chicken and potatoes to rehydrate let's take a walk down here to Twin Lakes and enjoy the view of Hesperus Mountain off in the background there I can't really highly recommend the chicken and mashed potatoes it's pretty dry and bland I even added more water than it called for to make it edible but not the greatest. I think I'd stick to the chili beef and mac or the lasagna and meat sauce or even the spaghetti and meat sauce. That is it. The sun is no longer shining on the Hesperus Mountains behind us there. This day is wrapping up for me. It's been a fun one. Tomorrow, not exactly sure what that's going to bring yet, but we're going to head out, continue on up the Aspen Trail a little ways, hike Shark Tooth's Pass. That's a three mile in and out hike. Should be pretty neat. I did bring my hiking shoes, so get out and do that in the morning while it's nice and cool. And then we'll see how the day's going. Probably continue on around the Aspen Loop Trail. See how it is anyway. The gentleman that I talked to earlier said it gets kind of tough. So <laughs> 
If he thought that, it probably is, but we're gonna head on over and see. Worst case scenario, we can always backtrack and bail out on the road. But we're gonna give it a shot, see what tomorrow brings. I hope you enjoyed today. Be sure to stick around. For you, this video will just continue. For me, I'm gonna go take an eight hour nap and we'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, everyone. It's a little after 7 a.m. The sun is rising on Hesperus Mountain off behind us in the distance there. Just making me some tea, getting ready to have some breakfast, pack up and head out for the day. Took a little while to pack up as usual. Got all dressed just to drive a mile. Headed up to the Shark Tooth Pass Trail to hike that. Not very far on up here to that. And it's about a, a three mile in and out hike. Beautiful morning out. Always nice to wake up by a lake with the mountains in the backdrop here in the San Juans. So the Aspen Loop Trail 631 continues off that way and it is closed to vehicles over 50 inch wide. That's our intended route. But we're going to continue on up here half another half mile up to the shark tooth pass trail on this where the this road does end i better get committed to this hadn't i Mid late July, still some snow up here. Yep, the road does in fact end here, even though uh, it looks like it might go on on the map, but I was pretty sure it did end. What do we got that way? Transfer campground, which we drove by earlier, nine and a quarter miles ahead of us there. Shark Tooth Trail, 620 which continues on up to the Colorado Trail in six and a half miles. We're here at the Shark Tooth Trail, getting ready to head out on the hike. It is an in and out hike listed at three miles, 4.8 kilometers, with 1,036 feet or 315 meters of elevation gain. If you're interested in looking at the trail map, there's a really helpful guide they've posted for you. Luckily, I have all trails already all downloaded, although there is phone service up here in areas. Not a single person out here, just me and the mosquitoes. It's surprisingly lush back in here. The downside of that is it's wet and the mosquitoes, they're still terrible. getting up here pretty close to being above the tree line currently a little over 11,500 feet or a little over 3,500 meters still got a little ways to go though
we're arriving here at Shark Tooth Pass at an elevation of 11,936 feet or 3,640 meters. The trail does continue beyond here. You can make it out off in the distance there, winding its way down through there. I think most people stop here. I too will be stopping here. Just wanted to get out, do a short hike today, see some of the high alpine tundra country. Very pretty if you come out here. I think for me, this is ultimate Colorado to get up here above the tree line. We've got lucky, seen some yellow belly marmots and some pika. Marmots are off in the distance. I haven't got one to come too close to me yet, but there's a fluffy one bouncing out across the rocks over there at the moment. They're such cute, furry little disease carrying animals. But I think it's time to head back. It's very pretty up here. I highly recommend this hike. The hike took a little longer than I thought it might, but it was definitely worth it. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch here. Backtrack just a little ways to the Aspen Loop Trail and see what the first part of that looks like if I want to continue on around it or not. I haven't fully committed to it yet. I don't know if I want to try to squeeze all that in this afternoon or not. I, I need to get back this evening. I, I don't can't camp again tonight. So we'll see how things are going. Take a quick look at it. Kind of see how far it is on around it yet. I think it's still quite a ways. So if we're looking like we're pressed for time and it's also going to be quite hot, it is quite hot. I may just jump back on the road and head back, but We'll see you guys in a bit. All right, circle back around here to where the Aspen Trail resumes. Gonna head up here, I guess at least a little ways and see what it's like. Pretty rocky already there right off the start. If the whole thing was decent double track like this, I'd go for it. I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, I hate to disappoint you, but I don't think I'm going to do the rest of the Aspen Trail today. It's got quite a bit of chunky stuff in it. And it's not nothing that I think I can do this. It is just so hot out today with the sun and the weather the way it is. And slow speeds i just don't want to deal with it today guys sorry i think it's going to take too long so i'm going to spin back around head out on the road Now we just came from Twin Lakes and Shark Tooth Trail there. That road goes up there and ends or Aspen Loop Trail continues. This would be my way out of here if I was wanting to leave. I could take road 350 here and see where that goes. Looks like it probably would go up there and rejoin the Aspen Trail eventually. Maybe. I don't know what it's like or what the Aspen Trail is like after that. But uh, let's go up here just a little ways and find out. So far it's not a bad road, plenty wide enough that you can avoid any rocky areas really pretty decently. We hopped back on the Aspen Loop Trail there at that corner where the fire department was taking a break. <laughs> that section to our right of the Aspen Loop Trail would be the one that we just bypassed. This section here is open to all vehicles, all width vehicles, so hopefully it's good. Guys, I'd like to stop and set up some more shots for you and stuff, but it is just too hot to be stopping and walking around. Well, I was just cruising along on the Aspen Loop Trail there. Came across this parking area and toilet. 
for Gold Run Trail. Decided to, to stop and use that real quick. Guy in a minivan there, so I'm guessing the road from here on, or a road from here on, is pretty decent. I don't know about the Aspen Loop Trail and where it might spin off of this app, but definitely worthwhile to continue on around here, even if I do end up not taking all of the Aspen Loop Trail to get out of here. Back to the Aspen Loop Trail, that's it right there. I wish I knew more about it. I'm tempted to just bypass it in the interest of expediency and stay on the main road. Driving through the mall So the Aspen Loop Trail comes back out there. So we just bypassed a whole bunch of it. Which is all right. Maybe someday when it's cooler, I'll come back and ride more of it. It's just too hot for demanding physical work. Now we're coming up on the Jersey Gym Lookout Tower up here on our left. Now, would that not be the coolest place to spend the night? I mean, how awesome is that? It's, it's like $50. Now, obviously, there's no bathroom. There's not an house down here at the base. But, I mean, man, that is pretty cool. So, those people are probably staying there. I wonder if I could get a picture of that. Aspen Loop Trail, do I want to take it? Do I want to take it? I got time, really. I've skipped a bunch of it, but... Let's see, let's look at the map here a second. Well, looking at the map there, I probably could take the Aspen Loop Trail. I've made up all kinds of time getting over on this nice road, but I think if I do that, I'm gonna miss driving by the Aspen Guard Station, which was something I kind of wanted to see like the lookout tower there it's kind of hard to tell but uh, I just think in the interest of staying cool today I'm going to stick with this faster road there's lots of side roads up in here and spurs that you can explore as well lots of dispersed camping coming up on the Aspen Guard Station off to our left here neat old forest service cabin that you can rent to stay in be cool to stay there too someday. Well guys, we've made it back to the pavement here. Headed back towards Mancos. Gonna head on back towards Durango. There's plenty of other trail riding opportunities up in this area. And if you want to explore some of those as well. Can't speak to them all, but I think I uh, hit one of the more difficult parts of the Aspen Loop Trail. But it was fun. Good experience. Definitely recommend checking out some of it if you're up to it. You know, if you can't ride all the Aspen Loop Trail, you know, the road itself is fine and pretty and will take you a lot of the same places. So, recommend coming over and checking it out if you're in the area. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to hit that thumbs up button and let me know. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss my next adventure video. Thanks for joining me and have a good day. Help if I'd get over here, but <sighs> again, then getting back up on the pegs is tough. Oh, God.